Yo, what's up? It's uh, Kyle here. Uh, I want to talk about uh, BAP uh, for a moment because um, this is just something that's been hammering. Uh, I've it's something I've thought about for a while. Um, so basically, my thing is just the has BAP best absolute perfect. Uh, my second favorite boy band of today after Big Bang, second only to Big Bang. Have they lost their edge? Um, have they lost their and what I mean by their age, I mean mostly, have they lost their momentum? Have they lost their sting? Um, B, and the reason why I pose these these questions, um, BAP um, have, they've been out for about two years now, which is surprising. I mean, they still seem like they're new artists still on the scene. But they've been out for about two, for about two years, going on three. Um, and BAP, they when they debuted with Warrior, they they shook they, they they were the first rookie group. Like 2012 was the year of the rookies, uh, but BAP were the first rookie group to kick off 2012 with a bang for rookie groups. I mean they set the bar high when they came out with Warrior. Um, I mean everything about that video, the video, the song, the concept, the clothing, it was stylish, it was fresh. It was new. It was hip. It represented, you know, a young, rebellious, uh, you know, kind of like a group, a age bracket. I don't, I don't know if it would fit my age bracket, but maybe the age bracket is probably about two or three years younger than me. It represents that group. Um, so it was very entertaining, and I thought the way TS Entertainment for that first year of 2012, the way they promoted BAP was really really great and really a smart market strategy as to how they they built them and marketed that group and ts entertainment is still doing a good job with bap however i just kind of feel like bap they just they they're, they're not they're not what you think they should be right now um uh in k-pop considering how long they've been out now for about two and a half to almost three years now um BAP since 2012, they've had about how many singles? Nine or twelve, nine or twelve lead singles that they've promoted. Not once have they won an award on a music show. Don't quote me on it. Don't get me wrong, but I believe they may have won. Um, I think they, I think they won maybe one award before, maybe one or two awards off their their last single earlier this year or late. I think it was earlier this year. Uh, Angel. I think they won an award off of that single, but that was only one. But the, the point that I'm and I know BAP, they have won like Rookie of the Year, Boy Band of the Year, and all that. Other. They won those. Well, they didn't win Rookie of the Year. I think EXO won that. They have won other awards on like the the bigger and much better, uh, you know, award shows. They have won awards on those. But um, when it just comes to like the, the weekly music shows, BAP don't really stand out that much. Well, not say stand out, but they really don't win a lot is what you would think. Um, you know, they've had a lot of good songs. They've had various, you know, uh, concepts. Uh, you know, their 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 biggest concept is always their their edgy in your face hip hop style. Um, some BAP fans kind of dislike it when BAP kind of goes the 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 softer route, like uh, like the one song I think was called Coffee Shop. Uh, another one, um, uh, 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 Stop It. Or their latest single that they just released, uh, "Who Are You?" I think that was I think I think that was the name of the song. "Who Are You?" or "Where Are You Going?" something like that. Um, you know, some BAP fans don't like that softer side. Uh, I don't mind it because I do think you need to change it up a bit. You know, you can only go to the well, the same well, so many times. You know, you look at Big Bang. Big Bang started off as a hip hop group, and look how they evolved from hip hop, and it's still. You know, pay heed to the hip hop tradition, but they they kind of evolved into more of a futuristic electronic type of like sound and image with mixture of some hip hop. So they evolved and they changed a little bit. And I think that for me, it's I have no problem when BAP kind of go their softer image, go for a softer image because you can only go to the same well so many times. Um, but it just seems like you know we have BAP that has so many singles that they've had. And TS Entertainment, these they've been these boys pretty much have really have had no break really, uh, because with every album that they keep coming out with, every you know every 
four or five albums they drop in within one year. After that, then they go and doing a concert, which I still think they're still doing. They're still doing their world tour, um, still. So it's like it's really no re no rest for the weary when it comes to these boys. Uh, they're just constantly being pushed. And my thought with that is, I've always thought, you know, BAP are good, but sometimes if you just keep putting people, you know, keep pushing them, keep pushing them, keep pushing them. Maybe the public get tired of them, or if they don't get tired of them, they'll be like, oh, it's it's BAP. They have, they have a comeback. That's great. You know, instead of, instead of the fans being excited, like, oh my god, BAP, I've been waiting a long time for this comeback. You know, they TS Entertainment, they don't give anything for the fans to really miss, because it's like BAP never really leave. And sometimes I think that can be a little bit detrimental. And kind of, they can kind of hurt the steam and the momentum of the group just a little bit. Um, BAP are popular. You know, I'm not saying that they've fallen down the ladder like a lot of other groups. They're still pro prominent and popular. They still have a good fan base. They're still a new group. Uh, you know, they're only a two and a half year old group. Um, but I just feel like with TS Entertainment's consistent promotions in Korea, you know, for two years straight, dropping like four albums in one year in, in Korea, then doing stuff in Japan, then doing a concert, it's like, okay, I understand you want to make money off of these guys because the money that they're pouring in, they're definitely sure as hell getting it back out of all the promotion stuff that they're doing. I just can't help but feel that somehow maybe BAP with the co consistent promoting and always there in your face, you're not really missing them. So but by you not really missing them and longing for them, then it's kind of like, okay, I'll see you when I see you. You know, whereas when you have a group like XO, it was almost a year before we got the comeback from XO's first first full length album from their from their first mini album to their first full length album you almost had like a 10 month gap it made people miss xo made people want xo um and even from their first album to their mini album that just recently released here again you had that time to wait make people miss make people want and ts entertainment did have that at first when they had with warrior they promoted warrior very briefly i think that was probably the shortest promotion they've ever done yet it was one of their best but they promoted them shortly with that promotion. Took them away from the fans. After they were really, really hot, they got people's attention. Made the fans want them. Then they came back with Power. Then they came back with, uh, I forgot the third follow-up single. They came out, they came, the follow-up album after Power. I forgot that. Uh, I shouldn't know it because I love that album. Anyway, so you get the point I'm making. They did start off with that at first, but then it's like, once they dropped their third album, their third mini album, then it just been promoted and just been in the public's eye since then. Um, so, do you guys let me know what you think about this in the box below. Um, you know, a lot of fans think that the reason why BAP may not get the same level of attention and recognition as, say, an XO is because they, they think that, you know, BAP, have, they've kind of lost their way in their edginess or their hip-hopness, which is why you always had that. When Bongto Boys came onto the scene, you have people saying that Bongto Boys are, like, more of a hip-hop version of BAP and... You know, I've made a video on the comparisons between Bonta Boys and BAP amongst the, fa the fans that made themselves. Um, I've made a video on that already. So you let me know what you think in the box below. Subscribe, comment, peace.